Good afternoon everybody, welcome from HIT Training. My name is Mark Belford, I'm from the Chef Academy and this is my esteemed sous chef. Hello. This is Zane, this is my son and today we're going to be making some pretzels. Again we're doing life hack videos where we're just trying to utilise store cupboard ingredients uh, to make lovely, delicious, economical food. I mean these pretzels I've calculated come out at around between, depending on where you shop obviously, um, about 17 to 20 pence per pretzel. Uh, the recipe that I'll give you today will give you uh, 12 pretzels, which is um, great economy, I think. So for this ingre uh, recipe, all the ingredients will be coming up on the screen. Um, so we're just gonna get into the method because um, we wanna see the cooking part. Just take a note of the recipe and write it down. First job you'll have to do is to activate the yeast with some warm water. Now yeast is a living organism. And as you can see, it's really frothy. Yeast is very much like a nail. Providing it has heat, warmth, love, food, it will start to become flatulent and create gas. Now this yeast creates carbon dioxide, which gives the little bubbles, and that will give your bread or anything you're using with yeast that rise, okay? So all the dry ingredients are in the bowl. Zay needs to put one tablespoon of oil into the flour. He's gonna do that for me now, and we're gonna add the wet liquid. There we go. Thank you, Zane. I'll take that spoon from you. Thank you, sir. Now I'm gonna bring the dough together and I'm gonna get Zane to knead it. Now Zane is very good at kneading. Um, he's also, it turns out, a better pretzel shaper than me, which is a little bit upsetting. Um, and also he has caused a lot of gloating today in the Belford household. There we go. So I'll bring this dough together. Now with all flours and liquids, if it looks a little wet, just add a little touch of flour if you can get away with it. My advice to you would be is try not to. Uh, just work with it if it looks wet. I mean, this dough feels wet now, but once I've worked it for a couple of minutes, the heat of my hands, that kind of thing, it will bring a dough together. So it'll start off looking like a shaggy mess to start with. There we go. So let me get rid of that. And Zane is just on the counter going to knead that dough together. So Zane, if you could bring that dough together for me, please. Hand washing at all times. I know we're working from home, but we've made sure the kitchen is scrupulously clean and that we wash our hands at all points. Now the dough, when you brought it together, should look something like this. Soft, pliable, sticky and lovely and very easy to work with okay not as easy not as easy as that one but that's okay because that's a camera one so once that's finished we bring that together as a dough we're going to put that into a bowl clean filmed and you leave that to prove for a minimum of one hour depending on how, how hot your house is where you put the actual dough itself to let itself double in size now we're going to come back to you in a couple of minutes when zane's finished kneading and he's going to uh, show you the next stage. Thank you. So, the dough's rested. Um, we've given it, sorry, it's proved, and we've allowed it to rest. Remember, the dough recipe will produce 12 portions. So as you can see here, Zane has already got three portions ready to go, and Zane is gonna show you how to shape a pretzel. Fire away. So what you want to do, please do not put flour onto the work surface. That will cause the dough to actually slide on the surface. We do want some friction between the dough and the surface to be able to elongate this dough out. Now you want to roll it out to about 40 centimeters, so no more than that, please Zane. Thank you ever so much. And Zane's going to roll that out. Now, that's it. Put it on there, Chef. So I just have a tray ready. Now we're going to show you another one and Zane's going to do it in slow-mo. So talk us through what you've done there, Zane. So we've rolled it out to 40 centimetres, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. So again, just watch the action that he's got. No excessive flour on the surface. We want a light, soft pretzel. Okay, so Zane's now going to bring the ends in, into, nice and slow, into a horseshoe that crosses over 
twists it once, twists it twice, then goes back up to the top, tucks the two ends round, creates a hole and creates top. a hole at the top. And I'm going to put this up to the camera now. Thank you, Zach. As you can see there, and that's shaped by an 11 year old, so anybody can do this whatsoever. Okay, plenty of video tutorials on YouTube as well. So Zane's now going to do the next stage, which is to blanch the pretzels in a bicarbonate of soda solution. Okay, so 100 grams of bicarbonate of soda and one litre of simmering water that we've got on here. These will sit in there for 20 seconds. Now they're going to be on a clean cloth, they're going to go into the water. They're going to come back out. We're going to just take off the excess moisture and then we'll glaze them. I'm just going to go and get a tray. Um, I can hear our cockerel kicking off, so there must be a cat in the garden. Go on then, Zane, please blanch them. Thank you. That's it. Uh, like I say, I'm very much a fan of letting children get involved in the kitchen and start to respect things like knives, things like hot water. When it comes to frying and stuff, a little bit more supervision for me, just just for my own personal peace of mind. But for saying I trust him, I know that he's competent in the kitchen and that he'll respect the environment. Okay. So after 20 seconds, that comes out and it will go on the tray to dry off. I need to flip that one there. There we go. Lovely. Same again, please, chef. Just while Zane's working, as always, at a ready steady cook, we've just got some fresh out of the oven. And how good do they look for under 20 pence a pop? Absolutely fantastic. Wonderful. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to transfer them to a piece of greaseproof paper. Now, for extra insurance, because I don't trust things, I put an extra little bit of oil and just use my fingers to rub on the, on the paper just to make sure that nothing will stick, okay? So Zane, if you could transfer those to the tray, please, using your spoon onto the tray. Absolutely, you don't want to burn your fingers shut. Well done. Right, Zane's now going to glaze it. So we've got a little bit of beaten egg, we've got some linseeds, and we've got some sea salt. So Zane, if you could do that for me, please. Thank you very much. These don't tend to like rise and spread too much. They're really, really good. You can see a lot of recipes where you can have a prove overnight, but like I say, this is a life hack video. I don't want a 24 hour process for you guys at home. I want something that's very simple. Now to make the dough, I appreciate you have to let it prove, but that's not a long job. You know, once you've make, made the dough, which is 10 minutes in total, you just leave it and then you shape it and you cook it. And the baking actually takes not a lot of time at all, around eight to 10 minutes at 220 degrees C. Okay, so Zane, could you sprinkle with the seeds and the salt please? Thank you very much. So we're going to finish with just a little bit of coarse sea salt. If you don't have coarse sea salt, please just you use some normal cooking salt. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Right, I'll put those in the oven and we're going to bake those off. These beautiful pretzels. Could you hold those up to the camera? Please? I made off pretzels. There we go. I'm going to hold them up even though I'm vertically challenged. Thank you ever so much. So those are pretzels with store cupboard ingredients made by an 11 year old, not by a governor. From everybody at Hit Chef Academy, please stay safe. If there's anything you wish to see on the life hacks videos, please do comment in the comments box. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you and we look forward to cooking you free again. Thank you very much.